It's me, Casey, here. This is my first vlog using my new video camera. I'm here with Trent from E-Clan Shearing out at B&J Evergreen. And we're supposed to be trimming Christmas trees today, but I don't see any ornaments or decorations around, so... Well, I'm going to shed some clarity on that. <laughs> we're, we're actually not going to be using ornaments. We're going to be using these, uh, these 36 inch knives here for you. So you're going you're gonna to get to use one of these in each hand. All right. All right, I'm Trent Johnson. I'm with E Clan Shearing, and we do custom uh, Christmas tree shearing all over the Midwest. Um, I started at uh, my father sold his business in a, a new grower that I had sheared through um, high school for. The new grower did not know how to shear trees, so I hired some of my high school buddies, and we started swinging knives, and it just kind of grew. Uh, shearing can be a, a demanding job, so not everybody gets it done as, as they think they're gonna throughout the summer and the hot days. And so they, they tend to give us a call, and we use the energy of high school guys to, to swing these blades and get the trees sheared up pretty for them. Our crew will uh, shear 900,000 to maybe a million plus trees in a summer. All right, to start off for shearing trees, you've got your knives, you've got a good grip on them. All right. And then... You're going to always want to remember, always swing out and away from the body. Okay. Now, how hard are we swinging? Just like, are these sharp enough or are we just swinging? Well, they're, they're sharp enough, they're going to cut real easy. Okay. But what we tell the guys is the harder you swing, you want a good, clean, hard swing. Okay. Because if you cut soft and light, it, the tree can grab your blade a little bit more. Ah, okay. And if you cut, and you get a better full swing, you cut through more of the tree, okay. the stronger swing you have. So right. you want one fluid motion, and I always bring my hands up. Okay. I, sometimes I'll pretend if you have a broom in your hat, I bring it up ah, okay. right here because the tree's tapers like that. So, yep, ah, there you okay. go. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. So then what we tell people when you're starting, we usually focus on the, the leader of the tree or the center part of the tree. And the reason we do that is, well, the taper is going to come down from there. So we kind of tend to aim, and what we'll generally do is tell people to aim over that leader just to see, it's kind of like sighting in a gun. We're okay. going to aim over that to see where you're swinging. Okay. And then you can eventually move into it a little bit more and, and put a nice taper on, on the tree. That's all right. Okay. I see why this follow through is important up here with this technique. And that's what we tell the tell the guys, you know, we come in and say the only way to learn is just swinging the knives and it takes right. uh it takes some good hard swings and it takes a couple trees that get a little tighter haircut that year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet. All right, so with this guy, this one's our leader, right? This guy needs to be cut off. So, do I come back again and do another swing, or should I do this? Yep, you can try that method and see how that works for you. This is, see, these are tough to, like, hold back here. How's excellent. that? Excellent. Does it need to come down further? Uh, that one's okay. That one's okay. You want to get that other computer, so rotate your body around so you get in the right position to cut that other... To this guy right here, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Now, should I hold this back? Yep, that, that'll work again. Okay. You guys look nervous. <laughs> Are you nervous for me? Just a little? <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Okay. Right there. So now, you look from the top all the way down and look all the way to your bottoms. Make sure everything's nice and clean. What did I miss? This down here? Do I go that yep. far? Yep. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. One down and 130 left before lunch. a whole lot, but it's getting a little bit too far out there. And by just 
tipping those outside buds is going to keep it in proportion. This tree just doesn't have a whole lot of growth, so I, I'm tightening it way back, and we'll, just, we'll hold it back until some more growth comes along. And now will that tree fill all the way in? Eventually. Okay. Um, that tree is, uh, looks like it has some soil deficiencies. Okay. It also needs uh, some water, and it might just be something that uh, genetically that particular seed has some, some problems. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's, that's your first lesson on tree shear. Now, how many years have you been doing this, Chris? Um, I've had my business 11 years. Okay. So we've been contract shearing for, I think this is our 11th season. And, uh, and I've probably been shearing for about 15. That's amazing. All right, well, thanks for having us out you here bet. tonight. I appreciate it. It's been a great time. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys coming out here. Um, Trent, I think this tree is better left for the second lesson.